The Portland Trailblazers have added some good guard and guard slash wing depth in the signings of Ben Mecklemore and Tony Snell in the last 24 hours of free agency. But Ben Mecklemore set to be a good scoring guard for them off of the bench in behind Damian Lillard, CJ McCollum, and Norman Powell, assuming no trades are made, which is a bold assumption. But he will give some good scoring depth for this team off of the bench. And Tony Snell will be a good 3 and D guy for this team. He's somebody who can be a very good defender, whether that be at the 2 or at the 3, and has improved into being a fairly good 3-point shooter. Always has been a fairly decent one throughout his career, but last year shot an absurd 57% from deep. He has the only 50-50-1000 season in league history, given this was only on 47 games. But still, a 50-50-1000 season is fairly significantly good efficiency, and that's what Portland have brought in here to have an efficient guy who can be a very good 3 and D guy at the 2 or the 3 for the Portland Trailblazers. More defense on the wing and at the guard spot isn't something that Portland desperately need. So bringing in someone like Tony Snell I think is a brilliant signing. I think Ben McLemore is a bit redundant just in terms of how many scoring guards are already on this team. But a good scoring guard off of the bench isn't necessarily a bad thing. Especially when outside of, of course, um, who's their young point guard? You, you guys will know who I'm talking about. Portland's young point guard, whose name now currently escapes me. Uh, he is, of course, their only really good scoring guard off the bench, I want to say. And even then, he's more of a catch-and-shoot three-point guy. Uh, Anthony Simons. Name just came to me. Anthony Simons. Outside of that, they don't really have much. So I think Ben McLemore's fine. I think if he could have got someone with a little bit more defensive caliber, I think that would have been ideal. But nonetheless, I think these are two fairly good signings for Portland. Both are in and around that minimum contract, in and around 2 to $3 million. So both good cheap deals coming in to help them for next season. On really could be a very changed Portland Trailblazers team from when they signed to when they end up playing their first game for them. But nonetheless, let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think about these signings for the Portland Trailblazers. If you did enjoy the video, feel free to leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you are new. If you want to hear my thoughts on any other NBA free agency signings, then click the box on the right hand side of the screen and for another video to the left. With that being said, I hope you guys have a great rest of your night, and I will see you guys in the next one.